What's up, everybody? Professional wrestler Chris Wild back with another video on Eagles News Now. Now, Philadelphia Eagle fans, we don't believe in moral victories. Uh, the term itself just kind of annoys me. However, after a hard-fought loss, um, it's kind of tough for me to just beat you guys to death with a whole bunch of negative stuff, as I could, and I probably already have. Therefore, this segment is called Silver Linings Playbook because there's got to be a silver lining to all the negativity, and there is. Now, last week was the first ever episode of Silver Linings where Jordan Maialata and wide receiver Travis Fulgram were spotlighted. Today, it's a little bit different, but sort of the same. Let's start with Travis Fulgram. He, once again, is on Silver Linings Playbook because, look, I really want to pump the brakes on this guy. I want to tell myself it's only been three weeks. This is a guy that was cut by two teams, a sixth-round draft pick out of Old Dominion, uh, it just doesn't make sense for him to be as good as he is. However, this week and last week, he played against really, really good defenses. Some could argue the top two defenses in the league. I think the Ravens are the best in the league. Um, and the secondary that he played against is pretty awesome. And he, at the end of this game, uh, he looked like an absolute star once again. Uh, his line, six receptions, 75 yards with one touchdown. Could have been two. At the end of the first half, Carson Wentz tosses up a Hail Mary. And who is there but Travis Fulgram? And even as he's draped by about three or four defenders, he still almost makes the catch that would have given the Eagles a touchdown. The guy hardly ever drops the ball. He uses his body. He's a big dude. Um, now, apparently, he fell in the draft because his 40 speed was very slow for a wide receiver. But he does not play slow. This guy always seems to be open, and even at the end of that game, as the Eagles are coming back, he caused and forced a defensive pass interference penalty. Um, again, he's playing against Marcus Peters, um, Jimmy Smith. This guy, I'm telling you, again, I want to pump the brakes, but I am hoping that the Eagles got a steal here, and this isn't unheard of in the NFL for a guy to come out of nowhere um, and be a really, really good player in this league. Let's hope Travis Fulgram continues this trend because the Eagles absolutely need it. With everybody that's out, they need a number one guy or a go-to guy for Carson Wentz to have. And number 13, Travis Fulgham could be that guy. Let's hope that he is. No matter what, he's one of the silver linings of this week. And then the number two and the, the first, actually the best silver lining of this game, in my opinion, is number 11, Carson Wentz. He's had a tough year. The first three weeks of this season were absolutely horrible, brutal. You can blame him for the Washington loss. Uh, St. Louis, they got, or I keep on saying St. Louis. L.A., the L.A. Rams. It's been two years. I should be used to it by now. Um, they absolutely outclassed the Eagles in week two. And then you can also blame tying the Bengals to Carson as well, even though it's not completely his fault with the 180 guys that have been injured this year. But in this game and last week, again, playing against two teams that, are Super Bowl contenders and two defenses that are top-notch defenses with a makeshift offensive line, and that's being nice saying makeshift. With absolute waiver wire offensive line, Carson Wentz took the team and put them on his shoulders. Uh, the guy looked like vintage Carson Wentz, and that is a really good thing. He, For the first time this season, I want to say he absolutely looked like the guy that he was in 2017, making hard plays. He had one costly fumble, um, but besides that, using his legs... Uh, giving his receivers chances to catch the ball only where they could catch the ball. Uh, just some absolute gems. The touchdown pass to Travis Fulgham I thought was awesome. Uh, the 40-yard run, which I think is his career high, uh, was amazing. I mean, his line for the day, um, not exactly impressive stat-wise. You're talking 21 for 40, 213 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions, uh, and then on the ground, 5 for 49 with a touchdown. There was no quit in this guy. He absolutely led this team. And that's big for the future because for whatever reason, this is a guy that, and you know, you say it about quarterbacks. You actually say it about all athletes. Is a good athlete um, can make players around him better. And I believe that's what Carson Wentz is doing right now. I have no idea who Jason Kroom is. He caught a touchdown. We had no idea who Travis Fulgham is. He looks great. Um... And I just think that hopefully we can just have a couple other guys stand out because it's going to be a tough year. But if Carson can play at this level, things are going to get better as we start to get guys back starting this Thursday. Hopefully he sees Deshaun Jackson back. That's another video 
for probably tomorrow, guys. Thanks for joining me on Silver Linings Playbook this week with Carson Wentz and Travis Fulgham once again making the list. I'm Professor Russell Chris Wild. As always, stay healthy, stay safe, go birds, and I'll see you guys later. Eagle Nation.